Hey, good day, fellow Nigerians. Uh, my name is Smart Mado Ajaja. I am the convener of Open Nigeria and the anchor of Nigeria now on Nightingale radio station, broadcasting live from Houston, Texas, United States of America. I wanted to address Nigerian youths. In my time growing up as a young person, when we had great men like Chinua Achebe, Wale Shoinka, John Pepe Clark, and the rest of them, we are going to speak at nearby venues. We did all we could to get there. And where we were not able to get into the arenas, we tried as much as we could to get a pamphlet out of their presentation as something that uh, we'll continue to look at. I was I belong to the generation of young people who followed the Chinese Revolution. I read so much about Chairman Mao. I had I was in correspondence with whichever agency in China. I'm talking about as far back as 1973. I was in primary three at the time. We we're reading everything about the Chinese Revolution. It breaks my heart today when Nigerian youths, some of their leaders, will boldly tell you that in order to get Nigerian youths to listen to you, you have to do something that is close to bribing them in order to be at the venue, to learn something that will be of benefit to them and their future. And uh, most importantly, their generation. And we want to be this great country, greater and better than the United States. Nigerian youths believe in those who tell them what they want to hear. I feel sad to hear that people like me are very caustic and we use harsh words on the youths of Nigeria. And this comes from some Nigerians, especially those who should know better. It was alleged by someone that I used terrible words against Nigeria, against my country, against the people of Nigeria, and against especially the youths of Nigeria. Well, if you are a true Nigerian, looking everywhere look to your right and look to your left look in front of you and look behind you and show me one thing that inspires confidence about nigeria are you trying to tell me that you love nigeria in silence in a desperate very criminal conspiracy of silence than me who from ten thousand miles have invested what i cannot even quantify to see a new Nigeria, to inspire a new thinking, a new consciousness in Nigeria. That is blackmailing. That is emotional blackmail. But I will not yield to that. I am not begging anybody for votes, but I'm telling you the truth. The youth of Nigeria, mark this. You see the degeneration Nigeria has gone through i tell you it's going to get worse if you still don't see it if you don't see that uh, your national security has collapsed you don't see that the economy has collapsed you, do, you don't see that the educational system has collapsed you don't see that the healthcare delivery system has collapsed you don't see the collapse in your infrastructure that you enjoy the darkness 24 hours seven days a week 12 months of the year and to who knows when it's going to be over. If you still don't understand that your country is in a lockdown, I wish you the very best. But there's one thing my parents taught me. 
that I must continue to speak the truth, even if I'm the only one standing. Our country has become a country where those who speak, who should speak the truth, have gone to bed or are in romance with those who are holding their country down just for personal economic benefits. It is sad. I say here now loud and clear that I, Smart Mado Ajaja, will never tell any Nigerian, we never speak to Nigeria as if everything were best, when in fact the country is dead. Our country is at the verge of a total collapse. And it requires all citizens to wake up and without compromise and unconditionally demand an end to the darkness that is plaguing their fatherland. I love you all and I love Nigeria. God bless Nigeria. And I look forward to seeing the Nigeria of our dreams. And uh, the true soldiers who understand that something is indeed wrong with their country we come and take the battle to the extent of a total liberation. <laughs>